Mastrop recently announced a drop for their new Mastrop control keyboard. This is heavily based on the K-Type, so go watch that video if you're interested. They're not trying to hide anything from the design, so that's fine. And besides, the K-Type's design is open source anyway. They do say that they're going to make changes and improvements to distinguish the control from the K-Type. The most obvious change is the color scheme. This is essentially a dark themed version of the K-Type. The housing is now a black or a dark gray color, and the keycaps take a similar approach. This is subjective of course, but I think the silver and white theme on the K-Type looks a lot better. It's going to be offered with a variety of switches, including some Cherry MX options, which is something we haven't seen in the original K-Type drop. One interesting thing is that you can get them with Halo switches. They're pretty nice, and I'd recommend them, especially with the clears. Right now, they also have a pretty high market value at around $100 for 87 switches, but Mass Drop might sell loose switches between now and then, so resale shouldn't be the only thing you're thinking about. They also advertise the low serial number thing, but don't pay too much attention to that. This is a commodity board, which means low production numbers don't really add any value. The lighting is nothing new. I think the rainbow scheme looks best on the white and silver K-Type, but the cooler hues shown here work for the control. Programmability through QMK is a pretty big feature. While you can use QMK for your K-Type, you have to port it, which is a bit of a hassle. Otherwise, you're stuck with Input Club's configurator, which is a little clunky. One problem with QMK is that it's a little hard to use, but more on that later. Aluminum housing and hot swap sockets are also present on the K-Type, so that's nothing new. It also looks like the keycaps are the same, just with different colors. These will likely also have the issue of feeling rough, like many Thai house sets do. One interesting thing about the back is that they ditched the long magnetic leg. Instead, they have two separate legs. This is a welcome change, at least for me, because I found myself having to take extra care when putting it on to not scratch the frame with the magnet. I've also had issues with the board not sitting flush with the desk, so this should address some of those concerns. Let's now move on to some of the points that Yambo makes in the discussion page. The first on the list was stabilizers. This was one of the biggest concerns with the K-Type. It came with one of the worst stabilizers I have ever used on any keyboard, and Yambo says that they've worked with manufacturers to produce better ones. He posted a video comparing the two, and while there is a definite improvement, it's not perfect. I wish they could have just gone with authentic stabs and just raised the cost a little bit. In the quality control department, he mentions keycap sorting. I remember people were getting duplicate keys, so I assume that won't be happening as much in this round. The most interesting thing about this note is in the firmware section. They say that they're going to develop additions to QMK software that'll be available for the whole community to use. They say that they're spending $50,000 for this project, and I think that's really admirable. One of the biggest concerns with QMK is that you need to set up your build environment and dive into the code to do any programming, which is a huge barrier for entry for people unfamiliar with code. This is a really interesting move for the company to take, and maybe it'll buy some goodwill from the community, which has grown to have some general disdain for mass drop. One thing to note is that the pre-release version that they're showing off strongly resembles a configurator found on qmkeyboard.cn. This is linked by KBD fans on their site for the keyboards and credits Rookie Mao. It could just be the case that the code base lends itself to an interface that looks like this, but if they're taking design cues from existing products, I hope they credit original authors. Overall, the control seems alright. If everything they say will happen happens, it'll be an improvement over the K-Type, so if you wanted a K-Type and missed the drop, or if you just really like the color scheme better, you should join. The drop has been getting a lukewarm response when compared to the K-Type, but without that comparison, they've sold a lot of units already. It'll be shipping in August, so think about whether it'd be better to join or to buy a K-Type secondhand.